no joke i was gonna make a video on this guy and how people are just slandering him way too much okay he's a really good player he's a really capable player and he's still got room to grow but unfortunately with the recent news of him going into talks with the 76ers where things really are turning really sour and he's had to not report to the locker room and and demand a trade so to speak it's really it's off-putting and it made me second guess about doing the video so today i'm going to be doing the opposite of what i intended to do today and really tell you guys that uh, by all means, uh, criticize this guy, slander him, I don't care. I'm not going to defend this guy. I'm not going to say that he's, you know, uh, a really great player and that he really shouldn't be slandering. I'm not, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad about this guy. I don't feel bad about where, you know, he's at in terms of how people perceive him as being, you know, uh, uh, quite frankly, a joke when it comes to the postseason play. He really put it on himself, and a lot of this could have been avoided. <clears throat> feeling slightly under the weather at the moment that's why this video is coming to you at a very late time actually it's early in the morning right now but who's keeping track really unfortunately we're in a situation where now ben simmons is acting like he's james harden of last year where he has the value he has the stock in them to demand such a trade to occur right he's listing off teams that he wants to go to right destinations in california that he wants to be in I feel like that's just overbearing. I don't think he's self-aware of the situation he's in right now, and I don't think, I don't think he's really in the position to demand such things. And it really is a perfect storm in terms of how Ben Simmons is being relentlessly criticized. You have videos of Ben Simmons surfacing during off seasons of him shooting freeze, right? Years ago, you remember that big free hit during a preseason game, by the way, where everybody and their mothers jumped up and celebrated like he shot the game winner in the Game 7 series. Like this, it was insane. It was bonkers. And man, people were excited for Ben Simmons to finally show up with the shooting. And he didn't. He didn't show up and... It's just been the cycle of people expecting something out of him and him under delivering and underperforming when it really matters. And you have, you know, Daryl Morey who, you know, probably wants him to play again so that his stock value can go up so he can trade him for a better player. You know, they almost had a chance to get James Harden, if you remember, last year. And unfortunately, now they're looking at <laughs> Ben Simmons potentially going to Sacramento. Like, getting Buddy Hill is a very much downgrade from getting a James Harden type player. And it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. A lot of mistakes were made along the way from the Philadelphia 76ers perspective. And then you have Doc Rivers with his I don't know if Ben Simmons has what it takes to be a championship point guard. And then you have Joel B trolling and, you know, saying comments that really <laughs> are telling. And at the same time, wow, man, I didn't expect it to be this bad, man. So at this point, we're going to see a trade because I don't see Ben Simmons uh, being in this team for very long. He could be for this team for a couple of games during the season, but I don't think he's going to play much, okay, because... If you see what happened to James Harden, similar things happened in terms of reporting to training camp. And then there was just that one game post-conference where he's like, I don't think this team's going to win at all. I, I, I don't want to be in this team, basically. And he got traded like the next week, I think, or it was very soon after he got traded. And Ben Simmons is hoping for the same thing to occur. But I don't know if it will at that same rate. Um, James Harden is a much better player, so he has really he is really in the position to talk and demand such trades. And Ben Simmons, again, he's just not there. And he needs to understand that uh, his stock value has gone very much down. And for it to go higher, he should put himself in a position to where he can play very good during the season. Like, we know he can play very good during the season. We've seen what happened last year. He was a candidate for Defensive Player of the Year. He was that close to beating Rudy Gobert. And being a number one seed had a lot to do with the fact that Ben Simmons was performing at a, at a very great level. And... We have to give credit to him for that, uh, but unfortunately, he's not only making it worse for himself uh, coming into the season right now, but he's making us all remember the horrific postseason he's had, and that just sucks.